All right, so today we are talking about the neutral colors. We've gone over primary, which is blue, red, and yellow. We have talked about secondary colors, which are green, orange, and purple. We've talked about those weird tertiary colors that have the double names. And now today we're talking about the neutrals, which you can use pencil for gray. Your paper is white, black, and brown. All right, so white, gray, black, and brown. Okay, my pencil's going to be my gray today. So let's go ahead and get started drawing our picture of how we're going to use our neutral colors in a work of art. Let's go ahead and draw a kitty cat. It's going to have a very interesting shape. Uh, we're going to have ears on top of it. It's a good kitty cat. So we're going to have it sit. Need two big eyes. And a kitty cat nose. Split lip, two smile curves, and third smile curve for chinny chin. Okay. We're going to add eye shine because this is a live cat, and two more ovals. To make the eyes. We need the insides of the ear, so we just really need two lines. And some whiskers. And those are fun to do. Our kitty cat is going to be a gray kitty cat. That's one of our neutrals. And underneath its chin, We're going to have a black bow around our kitty cat's neck. Two front paws. Two front legs. A line in between. Now we're simply going to have just one side. And on the other side, a tail. All right, so once we color it, it's going to be a gray cat with a black bow around its neck. It is out in the garden, so we need to draw a line because we're going to be sure that the soil is brown, the dirt or the soil is brown. So let's have a line here. We're going to see a little bit underground. We're going to have a raggedy jaggedy. Line for that. And underneath, we can see the soil and a few rocks. A 
all right? And of course, more grass up here. Now, since we're out in the garden, a garden would not be complete without some flowers. We've talked about how to draw some flowers. Bring it on down for a stem and bring it back up and keep adding more flowers. Flowers all around our kitty cat. Come back down and up, down and up. And of course these flowers can't live unless they can collect sunlight and they do that with their leaves. So let's add some leaves that can be ovals, or almond shapes. So now we have our cat in the garden with some soil, a black bow, and of course up in the sky, I really enjoy the weather when it's sunny outside. The sun is not a neutral color. The sun is a primary color, yellow. But I do know that the clouds that float through the sky are white, and white is a neutral color. just with a curvy line. All right, so go ahead, add some white clouds. You can use your pencil to color in for gray. Gray kitty cat. All you gotta do is color in with your pencil a black bow and brown soil. So white clouds, gray cat, black bow, brown soil. These are the neutral colors. They're kind of boring, but they're also important too. We can't really replace black with anything. We can't replace white with anything. They serve their very important function in our world of color. All right, so go ahead, color the rest of your cat gray, and the rest of the picture is what you want to color it. So if you want red flowers or purple flowers or all sorts of color flowers, go ahead. I can't wait to see what y'all do. I'll have my finished example, and we'll see you next time.